Congressman Kingsinger, we, we appreciate you coming on today. I, I, I know you were listening to that interview with the former uh, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Peter Hoekstra, there, where he, in effect, it seemed, equated U.S. cyber actions abroad with Russian meddling in this election. What's your reaction? Uh, you know, first thing, thank God he's former congressman right now. I, uh, I listened to that, and I've, I've, my blood was boiling. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine a Republican, or a Democrat for that matter, saying that, well, our actions have been worse, or an action against our country is justified by things we have done. By the way, Edward Snowden, this, in essence, he called him a hero by revealing all this stuff. I mean, look, Jim, here's the basic premise of this. I was thinking about this the other day. It really clicked to me. I'm like, I, I, I'm going to swear in again in a few more days. I've sworn to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. Russia is attempting to undermine the very base of what makes the Constitution work, which is the belief in a free and fair election system. So we are compelled by our oath to protect and defend the Constitution, to defend it right now, and to justify any attack on our political system is unbelievably beyond the pale. And I can't, I have no more words for it besides I was dumbfounded. Now, you, you can argue that Donald Trump ha has made a similar argument, right, dismissing this interference in the election. This is a difficult question. I'll ask you. Of it. In, in 21 days, Donald Trump is going to put his hand on a Bible and, and vow to protect and defend the Constitution. Do you have doubt that he will do that in relation to the threat from Russia? So however anybody perceives defending the Constitution as, you know, like I said, I see this as an issue. Some people will not agree with me on that. I think Donald Trump means and intends well. Look, there's going to be a lot more I agree with Donald Trump on than I disagree with him. But this is a big point, the Russia issue. My hope is, again, he's new. He's new to politics, new to international affairs, is as he's getting his sea legs under him and when he's sworn in, the weight of the world sobers him up to this reality. There's nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with Donald Trump saying, I want a new relationship with Russia. I want to reach out. I want to have conversation. Each administration in the past has tried to do it and failed, by the way. There's nothing wrong with that. But then to praise Putin, to come out and say that, A, this never happened, and if it did, it's not a big deal, and we've done way worse, is a totally different thing. And I hope that tone changes because I look forward to working with the new president. I'm a Republican. There's a lot of great things we're going to achieve domestically. This is a big concern. So it appears that Donald Trump was watching our interview uh, earlier with Congressman Hulstra because he tweeted just moments later, I'm going to put it up on the air, Russians are playing CNN and NBC News for such fools, funny to watch, they don't have a clue, exclamation point, Fox News totally gets it, exclamation point. Adam Kingsinger, if Donald Trump is still watching, I wonder if you have a message to him on how you see the seriousness of Russian meddling in the election. Look, I've been... A military pilot for a while, a congressman now for, I'll be starting my seventh year. And ever since I've been in office, we've seen the Russians progress in terms of pushing back against America. Donald Trump has made very strong statements, and I think he means it, about America reclaiming its role in the world. But the Russians have been among the key, our chief adversary, in pushing us out in those areas. There are dead, innocent civilians in Syria, children, right? You can say all the adults are terrorists, not true, but if you want to make that broad statement, whatever. There are children dead in Syria today because of Russia propping up an evil dictator with Iran, with Iran. So to say that somehow Russia is our friend, you know, I hope the president-elect, I look forward to working with him internationally and domestically, but I hope he sees that this Russia issue is a real thing and not something to take lightly or trivially. Congressman Adam Kinzinger, heartfelt words. Thanks very much. Thanks. See ya.